later on, Adam Pierce is on the phone, and Cody, uh, the news is being reported that Cody won't let the doctors look at his mangled arm, was the quote. And he doesn't want any help, which then they go later on to his locker room. And Cody's screaming, I don't need it. This was at the end of the show. I don't need any help. And in walks Triple H. And he sits down. And they have the serious talk. And at least, again, you know that when when Pierce was on the phone, obviously he was on the phone with Adam Pierce, and you know that, or with obviously he's on the phone with Triple H, and you know that honestly, Cody had to. If Triple H didn't volunteer, if it wasn't written that way, Cody would have insisted. And everybody knows I love Adam Pierce; he's a good friend of mine. Loved working with him, but since Adam is out there adjudicating the minor mishaps and things amongst the you know the girls and the shoosh boy and alpha academies of the world and is uh, you know basically called upon to do all the contract signing and everything this needs to be big this needed a step up in terms of not just star power but importance in the company you know this is now over and above the normal boundaries of regular angles that we do to give it more importance, right? So Triple H had to come in and be the one to talk to Cody and say, you know, I need you to get medical attention. I can tell that your arm is broken and you can too. And you're afraid if the doctor looks at you, you won't be cleared to wrestle at Night of Champions. And he gives him the pitch, but then in, in a very professional way, but Cody ends up hitting him with, what would you do? And he says, I'm going to fight Brock Lesnar at Night of Champions. And here's the thing. Since it is the forearm, that's entirely doable. Because I know somebody's going, well, how could he have a whole match with one arm against Brock Lesnar or whatever? But you can... You can work the match around a broken forearm. You can't work a match with a broken leg, although I saw Lawler do it twice uh, and in a cast. But you can't work a match with a broken leg, and you can't work a match if your upper arm was broken. But you, it actually has been done with legitimate broken forearms before with a cast from guys who, in the territories, couldn't afford to take off or the territory couldn't afford them to. So... They'll be able to get around this, but this, I believe, now will be Cody's out, obviously. What did you think of the interplay between Cody and Triple H? The act, I, I mean, this yeah. was the most emoting and acting Cody's had a chance to do. This was almost bloodline-esque in terms of how dramatic it was. And again, what do you think of their performance here? I think they they have they they have obviously both of them the star power, and you've got Triple H was a, a top guy in the previous era, Cody is now, but since everybody mostly watching these days is also smart to the behind the scenes, they know that Triple H is the, uh, again, the heir apparent, we'll see what happens, and is high up in the food chain there, and they know also that Cody has been the rebel and helped start the opposition, so there's, there's on-camera tension maybe of the you know, the the uh, the kind that they used to have when the top guys were really at odds with each other, but they still can work together professionally. So I think it's it's good to see Triple H and Cody on camera in the same place, occupying the same space, and interacting with each other. I like that. Yeah, to me, the facial expressions were really the story when Cody was looking down and Triple H almost with admiration is looking at him a little yeah. smirk gives him the pat on the knee, but the show goes off the air with, I think you could only say a scared Cody. Yeah. Cause he, it would, but that's the thing. Dusty would show fear also because it, he's a realist and he knows what lays ahead of him, but he still got to do it anyway. 